How's it going, everybody? Um, I got another batch of comics that I won at uh, online auction. So um, they've come in recently, so I thought I'd do a quick video and show off some of the stuff I picked up. It's a bunch of random uh, prices. There's some lots um, that were all together and then other ones that I bought individually. So I'll tr mention the prices as I show off the books. The uh, first one I have here is Stanley Meets the Silver Surfer. They did a whole line of these where Stanley met a lot of his creations. There was a Spider-Man, a Doctor Doom, and so forth. But uh, this one I ended up getting for uh, $5 because I'm trying to complete the set. I have the, uh, the hardcover collection of them, but I thought I'd try and pick up the uh, floppies if I could if for a decent price. Uh, then this next one is Marvel Age, um, number 129 with the Adam Hughes cover. Um, I got that one for $4, so I thought it, that was not too bad of a price. This one I got uh, in a lot with a couple of other Spider-Man books. Um, number 430 I got for $5, and 431 I got for $5. So I thought that was a really good deal, because um, that's the first Cosmic Carnage, I think. Um, then I got a little batch of Silk comics. I got number one here. These were $3 a piece. I got Silk number one, uh, number two, just a little mini lot, number three, number four, and number five. So those are all $3 a piece. Uh, I got another batch of a mix of comics, like kids' comics. And again, nobody order, nobody buys or bids on the kids' comics lots, and sometimes there's some pretty decent stuff in there. Um, again, like I like, uh, comic book adaptations of movies. So the little mermaid was in there. Um, the adaption of adaptation of the movie, uh, or cartoon animated feature. So that this one was 80 cents. Um, when you figure out the per, per price, uh, Marvel zoom zooms variant edition. Number one was 80 cents. Uh, this Marvel number five ended up being 80 cents. Um, Stephen King, The Dark Tower, The Gunslinger Born, second print variant was 80 cents. Um, I got this collection of Barbie comics, um, a bag of, a bag of Barbie. I think it's just random issues, 23 is in there, 15 is in there, and there's three issues, but I ended up getting that for $5, so, um, I just thought, what the heck, I'll bid on it and get it and see if I get it and I want it. Um, then this next batch of comics, um, Phantom Costing, uh, final cost was like 15 cents a piece. Some are rougher than others. Uh, I haven't bagged and boarded all of them, but Secret Wars 2, number 2, um, Marvel 2 and 1, number 68 with Thing and Angel. That one's not in too bad a shape. Um, 2001 Unlimited, number 5. Captain Marvel, number 5. Down there. Uh, Marvel Comics Presents number 127. You got Ghost Rider and Typhoid Mary or Wolverine and the Black Widow. Come on. Nope. Here's uh, Marvel Comics Presents number 15, one of the earlier issues. Uh, Spider Man number 42 with Iron Fist in it. Another Marvel Comics Presents number 128 with Wolverine or Ghost Rider. Same issue. Um, all new Wolverine number one. That's the real reason I got the lot. So, I mean, it, it, it was in behind some other books in a picture. So, um, like I said, this, it was 15 cents. Uh, Thunderbird, or Thundercats, excuse me, the Return, number four. The Darkness, number two. That's a really cool cover. Battle of the Planets, number ten. Robotech, number one. Thundercats, Dogs of War, number one. That's a nice cover. Uh, Born. The Max, number one. Chains of Chaos, featuring the Rook and Vampirella, three of three. 
uh, black flag number four. Here's another planet, a battle of the planets with Witchblade. I guess they teamed up. Battle of the planets number five. The League of Extraordinary, Extraordinary Gentlemen, volume two. Number... Uh, it's a compendium edition, parts three and four. So I guess that's a collected edition. Battle of the Planets number six. Hellboy Weird Tales number two. Robotech number five. Another Battle of the Planets number nine. Battle of the Planets uh, Battle Book number one. Again, I can't complain when you figure out the price is like 15 cents a piece. Uh, here's Voltron, Defender of the Universe Zero from Image. Uh, the Authority, number one. Transformers Armada, number one. Free comic book day. Let me get this out of here. Robotech, number six. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, number five, volume two. Robotech number three. I guess I could have sorted these and put all the same books together. Um, Devil's Due Studios 2003 mixtape number one. Just a little sampling of whatever they were uh, issuing there. Ghost in the Shell um, issue three of 11. Battle of the Planet is Thundercats number one. Stormwatch number 14. BPRD, Soul of Venice. Um, I don't know if that's a one shot or if that's a number one or what. Uh, Majestic number nine. Uh, Otherworld from Vertigo. Number six. Uh, Majestic number eight. Oops. Planetary number 23. Troll number one. Oops, sorry. Majestic, Majestic number five. Hellboy Weird Tales number three. Eternal. Oh, The Eternal from Marvel Max number one. Voltron Defenders of the Universe cover C, number one, from Image. Hellboy Weird Tales, number one. Witchblade, number 17. Grifter She, number two. She Heaven and Earth, number one. Sneak Attack Edition. Here's She Wear the, the Way of the Warrior, number 12. Wildcat Special, number one. Uh, another issue of Chains of Chaos, number three again. Vampirella, uh, number one. I don't know if this is a variant cover or if that's just the first cover. That's a nice cover there. Uh, the Many Worlds of Tesla Strong. This is a nice Art Adams uh, cover. Giant Multiverse Edition number one, July 2003. But look at that. That guy sure can draw. Uh, Voltron, Defenders of the Universe number two. Oh, here's another of the Vampirella issues. Thundercats the return number five. Thundercats the return number three. Robotech number four from Wildstorm. Blood and Water from Vertigo number 105. Looks like a Brian Bolin cover on this one. Thundercats the return number two. 
Thundercats Return number one. Oh, that's a cool looking cover too. Uh, Tokyo Storm Warning number one from Cliffhanger Comics. That's another one that looks really interesting. I'm going to have to read that one. Uh, Authority number three. Authority num volume two, number two. And last but not least, Battle of the Planets, Jason, number one, with a nice Alex Ross cover. So I'm going to stop there. Um, I got some another batch to go through and sort, but uh, I'll stop there because, again, I don't like these videos to be too long. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, looking at these comics. And uh, like I say, I can't complain when they're only like 15 or 20 cents a piece, so you can never go wrong. And there's a lot of good reading there. Uh, so again, thanks. Uh, thank you for everybody for watching and commenting on my other videos. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and please like the video if you get a chance. Um, and just keep an eye out because uh, hit the notification bell because I try to do videos like once uh, every couple of weeks or once a week now. So other than that, I will let you guys go. Um, good luck out there hunting for comics and I will see you all next time. Bye.